Lamborghini's Gallardo successor may say what up in Frankfurt. Audi has another Quattro Coupe concept. The 2015 BMW 7 Series is going to lay off the carbs. And more reports why Fisker went the way of the, well, away. And a wannabe rapper who revved himself into no job. Ooh. Plus, Friends Day Wednesday, right, AK? Yes. You got it. What's up, people? I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily. Erica, say woohoo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah, we all know Fisker is failing. Pretty miserably, actually. It's unfortunate, isn't it, Max? Yeah. But why is it failing, you may ask? Well, besides the fact that Tesla has pretty much outdone Fisker at every turn, it appears that the EV automaker was losing quite a bit of cash on every Karma vehicle sold. How much cash, you may be wondering, right, Erica? I'm wondering. Yeah, just about $35,000 per car. Damn. Yeah, all right. Now, if you multiply that times the 2,450 Karma sold, well, then you've got yourself about $85 million in losses. But I'm really good at math. Yeah. No, I'm not. Now it's starting to make a little more sense, though, isn't it? You know, why they failed? Now, beyond the financial faults, apparently Henrik Fisker wouldn't budge when it came to the car's design. So an engineering team told him the looks would cost the car efficiency and performance. I guess he merely just was like, I don't care. I like it the way it is. So. Yeah. Yeah. The total bill has topped $1.4 billion for Fisker. That is one hell of an oops, isn't it, AK? Mm. I'd say so. In related news, in a board meeting, one former employee was overheard saying, is he serious? More like Risker. I know, right? Come on, that's funny. I took Fisker and made it risk, because it's a risk. I'm not angry. Welcome to the How to Lose Your Job in Record Time edition of Fast Lane Daily, featuring a rapper, well, a wannabe rapper, I guess, who works for, or worked for a Boston auto port company that imports foreign cars. This dude who goes by the YouTube name PKilla617. He might talk like that, I'm not sure. He decided it would be a good idea to film himself and the cars that came into the port. Okay, maybe you're thinking, that's no big deal, he just wanted to shoot the cars so they look nice. But they're expensive, like the BMW M6, and he would proceed to rev the cold engines to redline in several videos. Now, if you know anything about cars or just have Common sense in general, that's not so good for them at all. Anyway, once his employers got wind of what he was doing, he was fired, rightfully so. Now I'd tell him, hey man, stick with your day job, but well, <laughs> he can't, because yeah. he doesn't have one. Right. P kill a 617, huh? I'd hate to be the letter P, right? Yeah, I heard that. Apparently he kills them. That sucks. P-U. BMW is going to restyle its 7 Series for the 2014 model year and its looks won't be the only change for the flagship sedan. The 7 will go on a diet, dropping mad weight. Thanks to a new chassis made from steel, aluminum, aluminium, and carbon fiber. The result will be a car that likely weighs less than the current 5 Series, which tips the scales at 3,681 pounds. That's 1,670 kilograms, in case you're wondering. We'll see what sort of chit chit changes BMW has in mind when the car debuts at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show. So 2015, it's a ways away. Right. So I'm just letting you guys know in advance. Now we were all kind of bummed when Audi said it had no plans of adapting the Quattro Coupe concept from the 2010 Paris Motor Show to a production car. AK actually cried about it. He was very upset. It was sharp and the concept honored the 1980s Quattro racing car. But now it looks like Audi has changed its mind. And they have a concept to debut at this year's Frankfurt Motor Show that will be a limited edition production car to go on sale next year. This year's concept will be based on the A5 chassis, again, and should weigh around 2,800 pounds, thanks to lightweight construction materials. The heart of the car will come from the RS7 in the form of the 4-liter twin-turbo V8, making about 650 Equus Ferris Cabalis, which is the technical name for a horse. Quattro all-wheel drive will be used in conjunction with 7-speed TCT transmission. Wow, who's excited? Well, I am a JF is 100%. Nice. <sighs> this year's Frankfurt Motor Show will also host Lamborghini's long-awaited Gallardo successor called the Cabrera. What up, Cabrera? Yeah. I like that. We'll see a concept version of the successor, the successor in September. 
The new model will be lighter and longer and will share a platform with the next generation Audi R8 due in 2015. A lot of future stories today. Yeah, future, future <laughs> yeah. The 5.2 liter V10 should carry over with some updates to increase output to 600 gallops. It may or may not include a six-speed manual, but will definitely include Audi's new seven-speed DCT. So, uh, you know, either way. What time is it? Well, that's comment of the week stuff. What time is it though? It is Friends Day Wednesday. Yeah. And we got FLD fan Victor Kaczynski from the Republic of Moldova. And he loves Porsches. You know what? So much so that he used the word Porsche so many times to make a Porsche 911. Look at that. Well done using topography, of course. Yeah. Right? Pretty cool there, Victor, from the Republic of Moldova. I like saying that. I wish I could walk around saying, I'm Derek D from the Republic of Neptune, but it just doesn't sound the same. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for that, Victor. And if any of you folks want that as your wallpaper on your computer, you could download it using the link in the description, and you could thank Victor for it. All right? Jimmy Fallon couldn't make it on today's show, so we'll have to reschedule. But anyway, go to GetJimmy on FLD.com for more info and tweet at Jimmy Fallon. And make sure you use the hashtag GetJimmy on FLD because we're going to get him here. Just, you know, schedule-wise, it was just a little off for today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. FastLaneDaily.com. That's where we go officially. Twitter, follow us there. Facebook, like us. YouTube, subscribe. And you are. And we thank you for it. iTunes, you can watch us there. Instagram, look at those pictures. T-shirts, FLD app, and Vine. By the way, later today on our Facebook page, we'll be uploading a bunch of new photos that we took in studio that look really good. Right, AK? Yeah. Came out sharp. Of a whole team. Yeah, the handsome filter on. The handsome filter was all over that. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. But before I say goodbye, I'm going to say hello. Getting ready to shoot another episode of Fast Lane Daily. Custodial D. The record time edition of Fast Lane Daily featuring a rapper. Well, a wannabe. Pretty miserable. Uh, <laughs> All <right>. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, we're just going to keep going. Yeah, we got to go roll. Roll. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> You know they have a sandwich named there for you downstairs. What's it called? It's called the Derek D Special. The Derek Dump? Yeah, no, no. Derek D. It's ham with a layer of uh, Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> Ow.